took myself off for a wee hour to do some knitting here. Find a spot where I won't be disturbed, I hope. The sun is setting and it's so pretty. I brought a shawl that I'm working on for my sister-in-law. I finally decided what to do with the border. And I'm thinking I could really do with a pair of fingerless gloves or fingerless mittens. Um, I have a little mitten kit in the shop that I'm going to take one of. It's um, a collaboration I kind of did with US Wool. And um, I indigo dyed one of the skeins of Lass. So there's three in a kit. It's actually a mitten kit. So I'm going to take one of those and knit a pattern out of the Shetland Adventures book, which I have a few of. Drinking some nice tea. It's really good. It's definitely chilly out here now. Autumn has really come and I'm going to try and do this more. I never do this and it's always my dream. I just bought this camping chair. You can't see it, but it's, um, I just got it today for the very purpose of if I want to go and knit outside, I can go and do that. I think knitting outside is much nicer than knitting inside. We spend way too much time inside nowadays, I think. Well, I do. Not everyone does. And I just feel a real need to be outside. So this is my going to be my new way of doing it. So I have my tea, my knitting, my lovely view. And every time I'll probably go to somewhere different and try and build up a series of little spots I can go and sit if I need to just get a bit of peace. <laughs> so I might bring you with me sometimes. <laughs> It's a couple of days later and I just wanted to show you what I was working on on that video and also a potential project and um, the fingerless mitts I was talking about. So in my little Alex Collins bag I have the shawl for my sister-in-law which I finally decided how to finish although going back if I was doing it again I would do it very differently but I'll show you what it looks like. I'm in the middle of the cast off now so I just end up <coughs> Continuing to this point and doing this little band of like stocking it and then doing this eye cord bind off. Now if I was doing it again, I would change how I do the increases in this final little section. I would either leave them out or do make one left and make one right. And in fact, if I was knitting the whole thing again, I wouldn't do the spine at all. I would make it more like a crescent shape um, and then do the eye cord bind off. So I'll remember that for again. But I think it's going to be nice nonetheless. It's triangular shape, as you can see. Um, and I think this yarn is my blue texel. I've had it, I've had this whip in my stash for a long time, so I can't actually remember what the yarn is, but I think that's what it is. That's what it feels like. So I'm pretty pleased with how that's going. 
In terms of my next project, these are the mitten kits that I have in the shop. It's 150 grams of used wool. I did a wee sort of collaboration-y type thing with them um, where I dyed up um, I indigo dyed and made these mitt kits for the shop. So it's their last base. Um, and they're all the same base, but um, they're slightly slightly different. Last gale and last glass. So one of them's grey and then the blue one was actually a white base. So there's 150 grams total. So I am planning on knitting something out of the Shetland Wool Adventures journal. And my potential two projects are... Let me get them up for you. Um, Hillside Hand Warmers by Barbara Chain in the blue and the grey or something from volume one um, the Dab Birkin mitts by Alison Randall. So kind of similar patterns. I'm not sure which one I'll do, but I think either of them would look really good in this yarn. It's wool and spun, so it's going to be good for the heat situation. So that's where I'm at with these. And then my current jumper project, I am getting on really well with it. I'm, ha I'm nearly, I'm about two thirds of the way down the sleeve, um, the first sleeve, the second sleeve, um, I'm gonna start soon, I think. And then it's just the collar I have to do. So it's going really well. My next sweater project is gonna be the Ewan, I think that's how you say it. Ian or Ewan sweater um, by, I'll put the name here, um, November Knits I think it is and I'm going to be doing it in this olive green colour held, same as my sweater number 18, held with the natural sock in the same colour. So that's my plan for that. So I'm going to be starting that probably around the time Vlogmas is starting, which I will be doing. Probably not every day, just whenever I want to because <laughs> I would like to take some time off as well but that's a nice combination. This is my Causeway yarn. This isn't well it's undyed a little bit of dyed stuff in the shop at the minute but it's going to be making a full comeback actually in January. I'm going to start dyeing it up in January um, in different colours so if there's any particular colours you want you can put them below in the comments and I'll read that try and make it happen. But yeah that's what's happening with me. Hope you enjoyed that little vlog and my little um, solo expedition. Um, it was such a beautiful weather, so it's not always like that here. So you have to make the most of it whenever it comes. So hope you enjoyed that. And until next time, which will probably be a podcast. So see you later. <laughs>